Welcome to SolidCam Professor in a video series to help you get started with iMachining. This video is part 3 of session 5, and we will define examples of semi-open pocket geometries. These include semi-open pockets with single open edges and islands, as well as semi-open pockets with multiple open edges and islands. Note that this video will continue exactly where we left off in part 2 of session 5. The SolidCam part file, geometrypart1.prz, is shown with all the closed and open pocket geometry examples defined and calculated. We will use the same 8mm tool and our upcoming semi-open pocket configurations will have the same depths. In our last operation, we simply selected Save and Copy to create a new iMachining operation with the same settings. The new operation was automatically opened and is presented here. Let's define our geometry for the next example. Click the New button. This example is of a single open edge, semi-open pocket. Pick on the lower contour of the pocket in the SOLIDWORKS graphics area, as shown here. Use Auto Constant Z to close the chain, and then click Yes to accept the selection. Using the Geometry Edit dialog on the left, right-click on Chain 1 in the chain list. Select Mark Open Edges, Using this option, we can define parts of the chain as open or closed. Under the Select section in the Mark Open Edges dialog, choose From Two Entities from the list. Then, in the SOLIDWORKS graphics area, pick on the first entity in the chain and then the last entity, as shown here. All entities on the same Z level will be connected from the first selection to the last. Notice how the color of the open edge changes to black. The tool will enter from this edge. Click OK to accept the selection. Then click OK to exit the Geometry Edit dialog. Select Save and Calculate to add this operation to the CAM tree and calculate the iMachining toolpath. I will continue to point out some of the iMachining techniques with each of these geometry examples using HostCAD. Select Simulate to open the Simulation Control Panel, and then press Play. In this example, the tool enters from the selected semi-open edge, and the toolpath continues. Exit the simulation, and then select Save and Copy to create a new iMachining operation with the same settings. Click the New button. This example is of a single open edge semi-open pocket with island. Pick on the lower contour of the pocket in the SOLIDWORKS graphics area, as shown here. Use Auto Constant Z to close the chain, and then click Yes to accept the selection. Next, pick on the lower contour of the island, as shown here. Use Auto Constant Z to close the chain, and then click Yes to accept the selection. Using the Geometry Edit dialog, right-click on Chain 1 in the chain list and select Mark Open Edges. Choose From Two Entities under the Select section, then pick on the first entity in the chain and then the last entity, just as we did in the previous example. Our edge is now marked as open. Click OK to accept the selection, then click OK to exit the Geometry Edit dialog. Select Save and Calculate to add this operation to the CAM tree and calculate the iMachining toolpath. Select Simulate to open the Simulation Control Panel, and then press Play. After the tool enters from the semi-open edge, the island is separated when encountered, and the toolpath continues. Now, let's exit the simulation. We will simply click Save and Copy again, and define the geometry for the next example. Click the New button. This example is of a single open edge, semi-open pocket with multiple islands. Select the geometry in the SOLIDWORKS graphics area. First, we will pick on the lower contour of the pocket, use Auto Constant Z to close the chain, and then click Yes to accept the selection. Then, pick the geometry around the islands, exactly as we did in the previous example. Use Auto Constant Z to close the chains, and then click Yes to accept the selections. Using the Geometry Edit dialog again, right-click on Chain 1 in the chain list and select Mark Open Edges. Choose From Two Entities under the Select section, then pick on the first entity in the chain and then the last entity, 
just as we did in the previous examples. Our edge is now marked as open. Click OK to accept the selections. Then, click OK to exit the Geometry Edit dialog. Select Save and Calculate, and then Simulate to simulate our iMachining toolpath. After pressing Play, we can see the tool enters, both islands are separated, and the toolpath continues. Now, let's exit the simulation, and then click Save and Copy again. Now we'll define the geometry for the next example. Click New. This example is of a multiple open edge, semi-open pocket. Pick on the lower contour of the pocket in the SOLIDWORKS graphics area, as shown here. Use Auto Constant Z to close the chain, and then click Yes to accept the selection. Using the Geometry Edit dialog, right-click on Chain 1 in the chain list and select Mark Open Edges. Since there are two open edges in this example, let's select each entity in the SOLIDWORKS graphics area, as shown here. Click OK to accept the selections, then click OK to exit the Geometry Edit dialog. Select Save and Calculate, and then simulate to view our toolpath at work. Press Play. We can see the tool enters from one open edge and breaks through the other side. Exit the simulation, and then select Save and Copy to adopt the same settings as before. We just need to define the new geometry for the next example. Click New. This example is of a multiple open edge, semi-open pocket with island. Pick on the lower contour of the pocket in the SOLIDWORKS graphics area, as shown here. Use Auto Constant Z to close the chain, and then click Yes to accept the selection. Next, pick on the lower contour of the island, use Auto Constant Z to close the chain, and then click Yes to accept the selection. Using the Geometry Edit dialog, right-click on the outer chain, Chain 1, in the chain list and select Mark Open Edges. Like we did in the previous example, let's select each entity of the open edges in the SOLIDWORKS graphics area, as shown here. Once satisfied with our selections, click OK to accept. Then click OK to exit the Geometry Edit dialog. Select Save and Calculate, and then simulate to view our toolpath in HostCAD. Pressing play, we see the tool enters from one side, separates the island, and continues through the other side. Let's exit the simulation. Now, we will save and copy the operation and define the geometry for our last semi-open pocket configuration. Click the New button. This example is of a multiple open edge, semi-open pocket with multiple islands. Select the geometry in the SOLIDWORKS graphics area. First, we'll pick on the lower contour of the pocket, as shown here. Use Auto Constant Z to close the chain, and then click Yes to accept the selection. Then, pick the geometry around the islands, exactly as we did before. Use Auto Constant Z to close the chains, and then click Yes to accept the selections. This time, Let's first mark the entire chain of the pocket as open in the chain list. Then, right-click on chain 1 again and select Mark Open Edges. Now we will define the walls of the pocket. In the Mark Open Edges dialog, set the radio button to Wall in the Mark As list. Then, pick the entities that make up the walls of the semi-open pocket right off the model, as shown here. Now that we're satisfied with our selections, click OK to accept. Then, click OK to exit the Geometry Edit dialog. Select Save and Calculate, and then simulate to view our toolpath at work using HostCAD. Press the Play button. We can see that the tool enters, both islands are separated, and the toolpath continues. 
Let's exit the simulation and iMachining Operation Dialogs. And this concludes our final session in the SolidCam Professor video series to help you get started with iMachining. In these last few sessions, we have defined many examples of closed, open, and semi-open pocket geometries and simulated their iMachining toolpaths. Thank you for joining us on this video series dedicated to our revolutionary iMachining technology. For more great SolidCAM Professor videos, visit the Professor tab at www.solidcam.com.